Hello and welcome to your final reading for 2019. Holy moly, you guys, we made it. What a year it has been. Um, again, this is going to be your reading for December 16th through the 31st, 2019. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. I so appreciate your likes, your subscribes, and your comments. Um, I'm just blown away at how much the channel has grown. So I'm sending you my love these holidays, wishing you a wonderful rest of the year. Um, I am not offering personal readings at this moment, but for the holiday and for eclipse season, which is upon us now, I am offering you a 20% discount off of your first energy session with me. So for those of you who uh, don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I literally have clients all around the world at this point, which I am beyond grateful for. So um, normally I give a 15% discount, but again, for the holidays and for eclipse season, I am doing 20% off your very first energy session with me. So absolutely take advantage of that. Because it's eclipse season and the end of a decade, it is such a powerful time for energy session. It really is gonna help support you in letting go of what you no longer need, working through maybe some of those stuck situations or thoughts or feelings that you're having about specific things in your life. And it's really gonna bring you into balance, uh, which you feel good when you're in balance. So again, the link is below. All the information is on the website. Take advantage of the 20% special that I do have going on for you guys, okay? So um, I've also listed below the nutrition products that I love and have been using since 2008. I only recently was guided to share that information with you. So I'm playing around with the idea of doing maybe a 30-day nutrition um, support something in January, maybe starting the second week of January. So I'm curious if that is something that would interest you. If it is, just drop a note um, below the video. You could put nutrition or, you know, that you want some information on that. And maybe we can create a fun supportive group to really launch into 2020 uh, feeling our best. So I think that's it for Shop Talk. I will see you guys in the reading. Take care. Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your reading for December 16th through the 31st. Happy holidays. I'm sending you all so much love for a wonderful holiday season and rest of the year. So I've already fully shuffled. We're just going to get straight into your reading. Eclipse season is upon us. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Okay, interesting. So starting out with two major arcana cards. Okay, so first up we've got the sun, four of swords in the middle, and temperance. So interesting. I feel like you guys are going through some sort of a healing and transformation and that's why this Four of Swords is kind of in the middle. So if you have felt a little bit introverted or a little bit less social or just more quiet, I guess, is what I'm feeling. I mean, I know Pisces, you're normally very social, very bubbly and very outgoing. And I just, I'm feeling, that's not what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling you're a little bit more like pulled inward. So you, there's nothing wrong. Don't freak out. I just feel it's because you've got clarity and balance coming in around you. And I feel like this is coming in in like all areas of your life. The sun card being the first card out here in this spread. I just feel it's bringing clarity. It's bringing warmth. Anything that's been hidden or in the shadows for you is being shown to you. Um, which, you know, sometimes that can really need some healing. And then with the temperance card, it's really like balance with body, mind, and spirit. It's the blending of two extremes. It's a card of patience and understanding. So... Um, this healing and this clarity and this transformation that's coming in around you, I do feel it could have to do with your mind and your thoughts um, with that four of swords. You know, swords are very much about the mental um, energy and kind of the words and the thoughts. So 
there could be a lot of like cleaning up going on within like your mental energy. I know that sounds weird, but you know, we have a physical body, an energetic body, a spiritual body. We have a mental energy body as well. So um, I feel that could be a really positive thing for you because it's going to help you just feel more centered. Yeah, I'm feeling like very much more centered with this temperance card. So very interesting. Let me see what else I've got for you here. Wow, followed by the moon card, queen of swords, two of cups. Yeah, you guys are, you're preparing. Okay, you're preparing. This is why you're healing and going through what you're going through. You are preparing for a true soulmate to come in. And you need to be balanced and centered and in a peaceful place within yourself for that person to come in and match you. Okay, it could be an air sign here. I've got queen of swords, so... Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone that's just, you know, quite in tune with uh, their communication and, um, you know, more energy like that. Don't get too caught up on the this actual signs. Okay. And, okay. So I just got to the Four of Swords being kind of the time out card or a miniature hermit card. If you were dealing with an air sign and you maybe had a disconnect with them, Okay, or lack of communication. I do see them coming back around for a second chance with the Queen of Swords here. A new offer because they've gone through and they've healed their fears, their anxieties um, that they had around love and around uh, this connection. The Moon card can also represent Cancer. I've got the Sun card, which can represent Leo out here. So, um, but I'm feeling more strong air energy than anything. But this, this Two of Cups, there's a lot... There's a lot of energy around this card. I will say that. So this is a very strong um, connection for you. I do feel it's like a soulmate type energy coming in. And if you've been working towards this or waiting for this, if you look at this, you both have to be on the same page. You both have to want to give the same amount, connect, uh, commit the same. It's like a very equal partnership. It's very much a team effort. So if you're not there yet, or this partner is not there yet, then the universe can't bring you together. That's why there's all these major arcana cards bringing in lessons and growth and transformation to support you. And look at that, 10 of cups on the bottom. You're preparing Pisces for major love to come in. And if you've been separated from somebody, I feel there can be a second chance around that too. This queen of swords is in the center of the reading. Now the lovers, wow, Gemini energy. Okay, I just heard harmony. Like you're really gonna be in harmony with this person. Almost a harmony like you've never felt before. Okay, but you've gotta be willing, you've gotta be willing to take the lessons as they're coming and the spiritual lessons and, um, insight that is coming to you as well in regards to this partnership. So if you look, these two, they're facing one another. Same with the two of cups. They're very much equally invested. So if you don't feel like your partner is matching you equally, that is a good sign that it's not the right partnership for you. And you should use the energy of this eclipse and let that go because this is what wants to come in for you, Pisces. The Lover's card is very divinely guided, okay? And the Hermit card, I mean, shines a light when we're ready to see the light, okay? Or get the lesson. So with the Four of Swords and the Hermit, I mean, the Four of Swords is basically a miniature Hermit card. So you already had the lessons trying to come in for you here at the beginning of the reading. And the Hermit is coming in strong towards the end, which is right around... Uh, that new moon in Capricorn and the eclipse happening on December 25th, 26th, okay? That is going to iron out all the details for you, okay? The details is what Eight of Pentacles is all about, really focused in on the task at hand, what is right in front of you, okay? I feel that here too. It's like what is right in front of you? Same with the lovers. What is right in front of you? This connection, 
So I feel December, or, you know, the end of December and moving into January is going to be very strong in love for you, Pisces. It's going to be a big focus. This feels like a very deep connection. Feels really, um, really beautiful, actually. So yeah, I think the message is either connecting with someone who you've been disconnected, okay, or there's somebody new coming in for you. But it's going to be a deep connection. I mean, with the temperance, with the two of cups and the lovers, those are all about balance. So it's going to need to be a blend of masculine and feminine energy, light and dark, uh, for this to really come together and be, be balanced, okay? So use the time to get fully balanced within yourself, Pisces, and that will allow the universe to bring this in for you more easily. Let's see if there's any last message for you. There it is. Yeah, this is something you've been wanting and wishing and dreaming for. So you've been manifesting this, Pisces, and that's why it's coming in together. I mean, you've got one, two, three... Five major arcana cards out here. So major growth, major transformation. Um, you are the creator here. You've been making this happen. You've been doing the work. So I commend you for that. And I, I think this is a great reading. Um, it's going to be a really beautiful close out to 2019, getting kind of in alignment with this. So be sure that you're communicating um, that you're not, you know, keeping quiet about anything. Really be open, as, as open as you can. And I think that's it. So I hope that resonates with you. If not, you can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter. Thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading all your comments. So thank you for taking the time to do that. And I am not giving personal readings at this time. If you missed my intro, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I literally have clients all around the globe at this point, which I'm really grateful for. This is my full-time work. So thank you for keeping me so busy week after week after week. And I normally offer a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. But because of the holiday and eclipse season, I am offering you a 20% discount off your very first energy session with me or as a first time energy client. So absolutely take advantage of that. You'll see the link below. All the information is on my website as well, okay? Um, I've also listed below the nutrition products that I love and have been using since 2008. So I only recently was guided to share those with you. So if those are helpful for you, the info is down there. I am playing with the idea of maybe doing like a 30 day challenge uh, in the beginning of the year, maybe around the second week of January um, that has to do kind of just with uh, weight and fitness and nutrition goals. So let me know if that's something that would interest you. I've never done something like that through my YouTube channel. So, um, you know, drop me a comment if you'd want to join in if there was something like that, and we'll kind of just see what we can create, okay? So I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of December and close out to 2019, and I will see you back here for the first half of January readings. Take care.